Yeah. Yeah. Connectra creates opportunities for people living with disabilities by providing information, resources, and programming geared towards greater inclusion and quality of life. Check out some of the programs we offer through our online learning platform, Connect Together, including our Service Mondays, where we highlight a local organization or initiative. Wednesday Chair Yoga with Bobby Seal Kobiski. Thursday Adapted Fitness with Megan Williamson. Friday Rotating Dance Classes hosted by Janice Lawrence and Joanne Cuff and other initiatives, including presentations by the Disabled Independent Gardeners Association's Growable Program and our Perspective Series. Check out our updated programs calendar on our website, connectra.org, or find us on Facebook at Connectra Society. Okay, you can start. <laughs> oh, uh, my name's Bryce Schroffelberger. I'm, I work, I'm, I live in Mission, BC. I uh, I um, do a website that is for self advocates that have a disability. Everything what a self advocate's looking for, and I um, have lots of sponsors. Home societies been been uh, right from day one, from that now twenty one years ago, and uh, this is designed to help for because. Um, when you try to um, navigate places, what you're trying to look for and disabilities, right? And you, um, it's hard to find. I find when you try to navigate, trying to find stuff you're looking for. And this site here is, um, you can navigate easily. You can just, there's pictures that you just click on. It goes to their website. It gives you, there. you can copy and on there and it'll, You'll um, voice recognition it too, so that people can't see. You just, but there's, it's a you have to trace on it somehow, and then, so it's those kind of things. So it's if you wanted to sh to share the screen, I'm able to. Here, hang on. There we go. <gasps> Do you see it? Yes. Okay. So, the, so this is, there's, as you can see, these are like drop downs. This is kind of like tells you like who we are. Like this is, we did this from in Abbotsford. Like this is, this is some of our history in there. Like, so it, like it's now it's 21. We did this in the fall of 2000 with, the, um, it was a retreat in Abbotsford and we're having one this coming weekend in Camp Luther in Mission. And um, that was designed to help local groups too, to get their word out. We support groups of um, lo local self-advocacy groups to help them for what they're, what they're working on, to promote them. And we try to assist them to build their website so that they, they'll get noticed and they, they do the work for what they want on it. And then we help them and that kind of stuff. So it's, that's part of our history. Yeah. yeah. You can print it as well if you need to. It's on the bottom. See, there's, yeah. If you need a full. And then these are, these are like um, self advocates that do columns. If you want to know about relationships, um, hang on. If you want to know relationships, She's the one that you can talk to. You just send her. These are the couple of things that came in. Keeping the same girlfriend. See, she she does the uh, relationships. How to help them out. She's a self advocate from Abbotsford. She has a disability too. So this is this is stuff that she she does. She's doing. Yeah. There's like more diets make more anxieties, see so starting school, big concerns, you know, walking your dog kind of thing. You just give her that and then she, then she responds back to you on a 
what to do in situations like that. And then just watch, watch your eyes. And we also have a, a submit a story section. Like we we pay a hundred bucks for a story. These are are what we're looking for, and it's in the um, category there. Can you see it? Yeah. And then those are the items that we're looking for. That that changes what what every every year we look for different things, and then. And then you send it. There's a if you want to know what this is, a, a, a consent form. It's basically, any pictures, any you don't want posted, we won't put it on. These are just gives you like a release, so you're so you know you'll be safe because we have to. It's regulations <laughs> on those things. And then, um, so. You've ever heard of Speakers Bureau before? It's it's Speakers Bureau is is when you do um, say self advocates doing a, like a presentation in front of an audience. It's sort of like kind of like this, but you can do it both in person or on this, and and then we kind of it's kind of like a resume. It's kind of like like these are the good these are good legitimate people that have done that kind of stuff if you want to know like these are all the ones that have gone out and did work so when i click on one just i'll just show you this is the full version that's just the first part there's there's what he's done Let's see so so if you guys if you do um it's kind of like if you guys go out and say if you're doing something about uh, your organization or any self advocate that does it, that then they send us along and we we put them in. These are legitimate people that you can call to, and then because some people they look out who who can we call who can we ask, so we so we made up um, that spot so that they, when they come and look at it they can they can navigate who they. Who, who's good, who's legitimate. And so if you're looking for that kind of stuff, um, it, that's just all the links of organizations and stuff. Um, so these are just extras, like columns again, like these these are individual self-advocates. He, he does, Sean does um, Inclusion News Magazine. So each time he comes out different versions quarterly. So you just click on where the blue is down there and then it takes you a PDF and you read his whole. If you're like, if anybody's interested in reading that, it's right there. It's in the column section. And then, and then this guy here, he's a self-advocate. He's, he's from Kamloops. He, um, he does uh, a newsletter and it's actually he, he he owns this it's his business like he's it's in his ninth year and he goes out in his area does all all kinds of that's his history of when he grew up they so can click there's a video there these are all his topics what he likes if you have an interest you can put him send him a um a spot to advertise and that's just more of his what he, he's done. Um, the voice, um, see advertisers he's looking for. Um, these are these are like if you want to place an ad, these are his cost if you want. And then, sorry, watch your eyes. <laughs> um, these are these are so when you click on one, it's that's. That's just a hit intro of his inside of his magazine. So when you click that blue, it takes you PDF. That's all of his what he does, just so you get a full glimpse. And then I'll follow it. Yeah. That's his recent that's his recent logo. He's he's 
doing lots of stuff there in Kamloops. And then, yeah, just, just see what, what your eyes just have. If I'm going too fast, let me know. <laughs> yeah, just so you get it a glimpse. Those are all like what he, what it looks like when you open it up. Yeah. Okay. And then that's his email right there. And then that's his address. If you want to, you can contact him and stuff because he goes all along, around the world too. He gets it all through there. He does lots of work. He's a, he's amazing. Um, and then we have like events. So I was mentioning this week, um, we got a self-advocate leadership uh, institute in Camp Lutheran Mission, 28th till the 30th. And then like these are, some of these are the events. If you want to send along, put it in, there's our events stuff. If you got one, just send it there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, the other piece of that, here's, or yeah, this is our, this is this year's. And we usually do this once a year in the fall. And um, it's already, the deadline's already passed, but but we do this every year, basically. And then, let's say for the four days, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And if you want to know how to get the form, there's a blue thing down there to click on them. Hey, Bryce. Yeah. I need your info. I will. And that, sorry. And then they, it's, let's go. If you want to see the photos of past years, just we have all kinds of stuff it just takes a bit to load, but right. And um, I'll get the I'll, and yeah. yeah. So it's really so you have all that kind of stuff. It just takes a bit to load. And then, yeah. It's like a slideshow in there, and then there's all our history stuff. That's just yeah, with a tie, <laughs> like that. It's a, like all our workshops in past years. Oh, he's he helps with it. He they do a um, gong show, and then other like we have food there. We have kind of stuff. It's really it's neat every year. Yeah, yeah. It goes every year, different ones. Yeah. So, so then I'll go to here. It, 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 just let me know if it, if I'm going too fast. And if anybody has a question or not, I couldn't. Yeah. And then I got I got this this one. I just take out pieces of um, throughout throughout the months, like fall stuff coming. So I, so I put a bit of different varieties in there. If you're interested. And then you just click on the where the blue is on them and it takes you the full page. Yeah. yeah. It's just a short version of it. Then you don't have to go that because it's there's lots of info in there. <laughs> like yeah. Selfadvocatenet.com heat warnings and tips to stay safe information 2022. See, that's what July it does. 20 and then and then we got another section. There's, we also got a YouTube channel. We usually put our events in down there. Yeah. Usually, yeah. And then you just play a whole bunch of those and then it's 
you could you could see what we do that kind of stuff yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah okay and then we have a we have a video section for health like Usually these are like videos of training for disability. So if they would like to exercise, like just you just click on the picture and you can watch it. Just and then you view it. Comes right up. Usually. And then oh, maybe not that one. Oh. Yeah. And it, and then you could share it. You know, tech sometimes they don't understand. <laughs> and then usually, like, you just click on one and then it goes straight to it, but it just takes a bit to load. You can view it more. And then there, and then you just. And then you just click the picture. A thing that's different about a Gurdle vacation home, you always have the whole thing. Yeah, commercials. <laughs> just you and the people. Skip that. Three, so, two, one. So it gives you just different. Hello, Alex. Hello, Daniel. Okay, that was an, that. That's just a sample. And then. Like these are self advocates down there. They're in special, so this kind of stuff. Different, different um, exercises. So we have that page. Sorry, watch your eyes. <laughs> um, and we have a recipe uh, page. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, and there's all our. Um, Recipe, just click on the black right there, and then it goes into the page. You can see, you can print it too as well, if you like. And then you can also go right to their link too, right directly to them. So, yeah, you can do it that way too. And then these are just more um, links. Those are those are like jobs. We're we're looking for a how to do a jobs board. That means is 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 um, priorities disabilities that that don't look for a jobs board. So that when a person tries to hire them, and here's a job for them specifically. So it's, we're still in the works with it. And then, and then we have, um, you know, community living BC stuff up there. See the top bar up there. These are all their, their, their stuff, their visions. Their announcements when they come out. Every, yeah. So just keep watching that. That's usually if they're looking for any info there. And then, um, then get out of there. Sorry. <laughs> Like there's there's lots of info if you were looking. See, then we have how to start a group, uh, how we work with an advisor. So, so when you click on there, then we do all kinds of groups in there, like how to start one helps guide them through if they're going to start a group. Just use that. You could print those out. Like 
just click on the picture and then takes you to yeah and then you just click this blue it goes right there see yeah just how to navigate it through we use we use like wordpress too is and then i usually highlight um oh yeah here's all the the stories what kept comes in so so if you send a picture it'll be like this it will have to come with like a picture and what the story is so that's what it would look like when you when you send us and we could share it to print it you know as many as you want right and then yeah so it gives them so it gives them 100 bucks because that's what the theme was so so it's and then just that's just what it looks like when you send one in give me a second and then then see we do apply mix assess stories too we try to highlight all the good stuff what's going on in canada and bc these are a few of them in there there these are our, our local self advocacy groups if you wear these the section here this is i'm also on that one too so leadership network <laughs> it's uh bc sln is society now with all those guys and the website's right there if you're if you if you want to have a next guest they would be good ones to talk to too yeah just yeah and then they have memberships if they want to sign up there they have this is when we started and then way a few years ago yeah you just click on the picture see how easy it is just that it takes you to where you gotta go. As, if you want to know who who runs that group, it's Michael McClellan and um, uh, yeah, he runs it. And and if you wanted to get more further there, they they go through um, um, Unity. It's Sammy Ami House Society. And the name is Nalda. She helps. She's uh, the helps with them. If you want to have a next guest with them, or, or... just so you know, <laughs> there. And then, hang on. And then I'll just. These are all our our events. I just have to add some more. And then. These will be where all our events will be posted. What's out there, what disabilities are doing. These are all our latest announcements. But obviously I do um, like recognizing that throughout the year, different segments, like there'll be a um, Remembrance Day page. There'll be um, December 3rd, uh, Rights for Disabilities Day. Um, There'll be all kinds of stuff like throughout the years. I usually put up what that's I did because recognizing Halloween, right? People enjoy fun stuff, not always serious stuff. So I try to put some fun stuff and and that kind of stuff. Like ten quizzes, like Halloween radios, like and safety tips. Yeah. See there, and it just reminds you, but you know. Yeah. Anything to name me share it. Yeah. So then you just just keep sharing, keep so it's word gets out there. It's like these things. And then go sorry, watch your eyes again. <laughs> See, these are all the latest news that comes out. If you're like I get them from governments and stuff and and then you know this month is inclusion month so yeah mm -hmm. so what so if you there's further to this see this 
there's a green arrow up here at this box. You just click there and then you get more straight. There's a whole slew some more in there. So these are more in there. All these are, yeah. So you just click on one, it goes to the next, just how websites are sometimes. <laughs> And then I'll show you one more. Then, then we um, see this up here, the archive. Yeah. Yeah. There's all our past uh, stuff, but was it in the page? And if you always wanted to find out where we were, these are all in blue, so you can check us out there too. If you're if you're always wanting to know, um. In the past stuff, there you go. You can check us there. Because yeah. some sites you can't always hold everything in, but you have to kind of, yeah. But we capture them so we don't, yeah. That's, that's the other piece. And then if they want to contact us, it's right on that top up there. This here, there. There's our contact. Yeah. And then if you were in the office where I'm at, it's right there. Yep. Their buildings, if you want direction, it's right there. And then here's our brochure. You just, yeah. See this blue page right here? This blue spot? You just click there and then take there's our brochure. You can print them if you like. Or you can send them whoever you need to. So so basically that's what I have. Uh, any questions that you like to know? Or it's the back background stuff. <laughs> so any so any questions you guys have? I can't hear you actually. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'm muted somewhere. Oh, I gotta turn this off. Here, hang on. Unshare it. <laughs> You can even check. Okay, them. there we go. <laughs> so, anybody have a question? You can go through the chat also if you want. Yeah. Just have to unmute yourself if you like. I'll stop sharing for a minute. There you go. <laughs> I, I don't have any questions, but I am interested in being a member. Yeah. I am a, a middle-aged uh, woman. Mm -hmm. And I was born with scoliosis and I'm also partially hearing impaired. And some mobility challenges. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm also indigenous. Mm -hmm. I'm a uh, Metis. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually work full time, but I'm actually wanting to learn more about becoming a disability advocate. Uh, I work in the downtown east side. Yeah. yeah. And I work for uh, a very well respected organization. Uh, for over eight years, but um, due to my recent fall, I um, it had created more challenges for me as far as my neck is injured. Mm -hmm. uh, I also have like degenerative bone disease, mm -hmm. 
mm. and complex uh, chronic pains and that. So I've been diagnosed with that and PTSD uh, as well. But I, I really did not know you guys exist. I heard of an inclusion, mm. but I had no idea about contra connect track, but I definitely want to be a member mm -hmm. and I think I could benefit a lot. I also know I have a lot of skills I can offer as well to make this a better, um, yeah, I think I am interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems exciting, uh, very informative. I was just in Abbotsford uh, not that long ago, mm -hmm. but uh, now I know how to get there by transit. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely want to come and see the space mm -hmm. as well when I'm back that way again. I live in uh, Burnaby uh, metro town area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so also, I really want to contribute uh, more as a leader. I do mm -hmm. support work. Uh, people in recovery mm -hmm. want to get clean and sober. I have lived experience. Uh, moms and babies, people that are high risk being homeless and um, that are high risk um, in a lot of ways. Mm. So yeah, I, I, I think I could contribute a lot to this. So I'm, I'm on the wagon with you guys. So maybe the question, would you like to do a, like a column? Like, and then, but it, it'd be like, kind of like, if you see people with disabilities out in the street or struggling, like kind of like if, how to how to get sober and stuff too, like and like if there's ways that you would see once you get and we would certainly we would certainly like welcome you too. Right. Well, I do work with a lot of people with mental health, yeah. uh, like. Addiction is also a sickness. And mm. yes, as you know, the downtown east side does mm. have a lot of people with disabilities. Mm. Uh, back in the 90s, I did a research on, on this. And in the 90s, we I learned and discovered mm. the barrier to employment was due to them having um, multiple barriers and a lot of it was with the disability of various kinds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we do have like situation where um, I know of one person who did really well and fell back into her addiction. And oh. she um, could fly to a wheelchair and she was actually an advocate herself until she fell into her addiction. And she survived a a burn, mm -hmm. she um, got severely burned. That's mm -hmm. why she could fly to a wheelchair because she lost part of her limbs due to the burn. Um, but that's just one example of some of the people I see on the streets that had like tragic accidents or deals. Yeah, and then you have people that are grieving because they've been in some kind of um, horrific accident and they have to accept, you know, that their uh, mobility has been taken away and they have to readjust to living with limitation. So yeah, I, um, like I don't work out in the street. Yeah. I, I'm more behind closed doors. Okay. But in the past, I had done work out on the streets. Yeah. And I do have a lot of allies that I'm connected to as okay. well in the downtown east side. That's good. Actually, if you were to look up my name, you yeah. would learn a lot about me, of okay. the work I have done and where I am today. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm, I'm an open book person. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Cool. But I appreciate you taking the time, Bryce. Yeah, no to, problem. Sorry uh, for that. Sorry from no the earlier thing. That was the inconvenience. Yeah, it worked out well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so what do you think of the layout? What 
um, the website, is it easier for you to navigate? Is it like, to me, it's it, very it straightforward. Soft, but, to me, yeah. it's very straightforward. Yeah. But again, I also want to remind you that, like, mm -hmm. a lot of people I know yeah. may not have access to a printer. Yeah. Like, uh, for me, I would go to the library or I would go to the printing mm -hmm. shop in my neighborhood. I can get a printer, but yeah. I'm thinking about the ones that are less fortunate, mm -hmm. that don't have that, and the ones that are not able to work. Mm -hmm. um, I think it would be good, like for me, I've been wanting to be in a consultant yeah. to help people get that information if they can't access it. Mm -hmm. I'd be the person that can get that for them, uh, for the ones that don't utilize computers or resources yeah. like us. Mm -hmm. And so that I know is important. Uh, it is something that would be very instrumental to have to reach yeah. out to the ones sure, that oh, don't yeah. know there's resources yeah. available. Connections is everything. And, yes, it is. And, uh, and nowadays, nobody's in their offices anymore. Everybody's online or doing something right so it's exactly. kind of it's kind of this is useful because now we can what we're we're always trying to strive is making it better trying to so it's user user friendly so that mm -hmm. uh, and obviously and we sell desktop computers so I'm right i see that and that's on the website there too it's in the blue wonderful far corner so you just have to list it to there and then then we try to get to you or they can come and get it whatever right and, okay uh, that's for it's like they're they're good but they're not like super like you know state of the art but they're but they're useful to navigate what you're looking for jobs or some help or something mm -hmm. and something that they um they've lost or you know needing help at least they'll have if they have those connections like some and they could use it and they all work fine mm -hmm. like and so it's so we're reaching out to ones that are less fortunate, and so it's giving it to them. If it's, it's basically seventy five, is just because it helps because for the stuff we put in it, whatever, and then we, and then because some of it we we do pay to fix them so that they're usable again, and then some of it, the rest is donation. Those you don't, it's just product use and the bit of sweat that's what that's about it's nothing like major like other areas you won't get a deal like that no way yeah so i i'm thinking i'm gonna pay yeah. for my membership yeah uh yeah. after we're done here i will put my membership in and i i'm a very idealistic person mm. my brain is always going i'm uh, i have wonderful ideas and i definitely want to be more proactive mm. um to see what I can offer and bring forth mm. to you guys and to also in my community and to where I work as well. So I think building that work is very important. The more of us that get out there, the more we can assist a lot of people that don't have that or feel that like, yes, we have advocates, but we don't have proper advocates nope. that have disabilities that can walk the talk, talk the walk, and understand what are the barriers we face every day mm -hmm. and the challenges that are not always easy. Like I still deal with that in my work. Yeah. You know, uh, ableism and that. And yeah, that's a big and, one. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard because, like, I feel like I get penalized mm -hmm. for like, I can't do a heavy lifting or I can only do so many stairs or I, I have to have rails because yeah. of my balance. Mm -hmm. So little stuff like that are yeah. like, your employer will kind of like criticize about, not to you, but you know, that goes on your employment record. Yeah. You know, so that like some of the stuff I deal with in my personal life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, things like that. I think we need to, you know, um, yeah. have more surveys. Yeah. You know, 
So these are just some ideas for you. I, I don't want to give too mm. much. No, that's all right. No, yeah. no, those are great <laughs> ideas. No. Yeah, yeah, but I, I will put my membership in for sure. Yeah, no, that's good. And then, yeah. yeah, you could do it. You know what? You could do a story too. We have yes. a story. We can and just go through there just, and then do the process and I get a notification. And then I, and then we send you um, a response back to say we, we approved it. And then you then you'll get your hundred bucks and once. Mm -hmm. Yes, I did see all that. Yeah. So yeah. I am going to look at the site more. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, um, just, just to, there's lots of info. It's just just take your time. But there's lots lots of stuff in there. It's just how it is. <laughs> right. But people are always looking, right? But they're it's, yeah. And then I actually have a question. Sure. Sure. Um. I live in a neighborhood that has an accessible stall, um, yeah. stall mm -hmm. and it's become a huge issue in that like nobody that has a parking yeah. pass parks there. Uh, bylaws won't deal with it because they say it's not their jurisdiction and the police also don't yeah. deal with it. Well, they can, they choose not to um when i call in they tell me i've been told that it's not their problem um i even had it where businesses park in the accessible stall constantly like brinks mm -hmm. sat in there ate their mm -hmm. line told me they were legally allowed to park there yeah. which they're not but uh and the police walked past when a company was parked there and i went up to the police and said can you not like give them a ticket like they're not supposed to be parked there and he's like, oh, okay, well, I'll go talk to him. And he's like, oh, he was leaving. And then he just left it at that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if there's any suggestions. Like, I've tried to go to the media. Like, I have videos of people yelling at me, telling me to F off, mind my own business. Mm -hmm. When I'm like, hey, you know, just so you know, this isn't, this is a spot for people with disabilities. Like, you have to have. Did you rate, did you rate the mayor? Did you rate the council, city council? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, my husband's Sorry, yeah. here beside I'm me. Here too. <laughs> okay. Um, MLA, MLA locally. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, and I like I I actually emailed with the uh, mayor probably ten or fifteen times. Yeah. Mm. And I have uh, done lots of advocacy work, and like my my grandma had an accessible pass for a mm. long time yeah. in my life, so I understand who needs those and why they need those, mm. and. Uh, I have taken like, and it's probably 50 to hundred people a day parked in this wow. spot it's just, like bad. once in a while. And I'm just like, I'm not yeah. like, I am fully, fully uh, like able-bodied. So like, I'm not doing this for my own sake, mm. you know, like, and I've been trying to advocate, mm. trying to get this to the police's, um, like eyes and stuff like that, but they are straight up say mm. they don't have, sorry, I'll be quiet. Yes. Yeah. Go sound. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about <laughs> Sparks BC? Yeah, that's I mean, I was going to apply for one for myself, too, because uh, my limitation of how far I can walk. As yeah, well. that's not an issue. Yeah, it's that myself and nobody else who has a pass can ever park there because exactly. we are able bodied park there. are parking there or not parking there. Uh, just have their four ways on and they're running into Starbucks and grabbing something. But it's, it's all, all, right. all day though. It's from like 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. though. It doesn't ever stop. I just didn't know if there was like an advocacy group that you might know of that. Um, have Alliance made. BC, did you try yeah, that? Yeah. Did Alliance, you try? Yeah. Yeah, the BC uh, Disability Alliance. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Tim Lewis, is he still around? Yes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he would probably be good. I know I met with him years ago mm -hmm. about another matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, like he may I, have answers for that. Yeah, because they, they do a lot of things in there. Uh, that they they do even with um, the ministry income. They do uh, like uh, disability sheets, all the yeah. all the stuff. But and they also do um, disability tax credits. They do um, that kind of stuff too. They help you assist to what you need to get to. They do. Lot of okay. like asking, yeah. You Sorry, could, what was the name? I wonder about the transit thing, yeah. that bus stop or whatever the um, the parking. The store. handy dart. Yeah, handy they'll they'll help you assist it with it. Yeah. Sorry, what I, was, was person's name? 
Oh, I said Tim Lewis. Yeah. He, he's a lawyer. Uh, he oh, used yeah. to be a counselor for Vancouver. Um, I'm not sure what he does now, but he would be a good person. And also BC Disability Alliance as well would be another talk to an advocate about that. Hmm. I, I would also say, here's another idea, is get a survey on this. If you put it on the website, that might be another good thing. Yeah. Is we can see how many people are having this issue itself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just some good ideas. Uh, Tim Lewis would be a good person to start with. Yeah. And DC Alliance. Yeah. Sorry, was Tim Lewis like K-I-M? Lewis, L-O-U-I-S oh, is yeah. his last name. Tim, oh. uh, T-I-M, yes. Sorry. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'm hard of hearing too. Yeah, he's still, yeah, it's yeah. his lawyer still. Yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping um, he may help out with that. Like, this okay. could be a good thing to bring forth. Yeah, because he, he yeah. has a disability. Yeah, just says, And uh, not only that, we're in an inclusion month right now. Yep. Oh, that's cool. So okay. this is appropriate time yep. to lobby for that. I yeah. really appreciate all this help. Yeah. And putting yeah. this are on and everyone's yeah, contribution yeah. to everything here. Yeah, yeah. I, I no would problem. like to hear more about this from you guys. I, I I don't know if you're on Facebook, Ashley. I'm not, but I'm on Instagram. Okay, I am too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. We should just, just start send posting. you a message. Yeah, but yeah. I know. So I, should... I would love to support you and work yeah. with you guys. It's like one o'clock. I... <laughs> yeah. um, so any more other questions and then we probably yeah, probably have to go, but well, you just built a good network already. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and it's There's... always gonna get better. That's yes. what I, that's, and... and I, I would encourage you to do those more often. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we're looking for. So it gets okay, to sorry. Instagram is C R P S. Hi. Okay. What was your it's C is in Charlie. Okay. R is in Romeo. Okay. P is in Papa. Oh, yeah. S is in Sierra. Yeah. Warrior. W. Underscore 2012. So it's C R. No, 2012. S okay. Is that that your? Is that your tag or is that? Yeah, you? that's my tag. Okay. C R P what? C R P S. Okay, got it. Yeah. Warrior. Warriors. Under okay. And your yeah, email? Uh, yeah. Your pardon email. me. And your email, maybe? Yeah, sorry. My email yeah. is uh, Ashley, hmm. A S H L E Y. Ashley. Hi. Baker, B oh, is Baker. a A K R. Okay. Yeah. And then just the number three. Uh, oh. At hotmail.com. Oh, oh, three. Okay. Uh, Okay. So Ashley Baker three at hot.com. Do you have a phone number too? Sorry. I do, oh yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> it's six zero four. Six four. Okay. Seven Stop. eight. Seven eight. Nine. Six nine. seven. Six seven. Five eight. Five eight. Okay. Got it. Oh. Okay. Sure. Well, Ashley, I'm Sandy Pronto. S A N D I. And my last name on okay, Instagram. Perfect. I will look for you. So you'll see me invite you onto my Instagram. Hey, Sandra, do you got, you got a phone number? I, can, I uh, do. 778. 778. Two, yeah, 223. 223. Yeah. 37. 37. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay. Yes. Thank you both very much. Thank you, Ashley, for You're sharing welcome. that with us. Yes. And I, I look forward to hearing more and seeing you in the future. So the question, yes. is, the question is, if, you, if anybody uh, looks in our website and if you, you can share it as many times as you like, the more of the word out there, the better. So okay. the more people will see what's there. And it's really great stuff on there. It's just, you just yeah. have, it's just a okay. lot of, it's, it's a lot of stuff in there. You just have to yes. navigate. There's drop yeah. downs. There's all kinds of. Yes. I'll share my Instagram too. So. Yeah, great. Yeah. I have 
two followers. So especially the story section, because uh, we're always looking for some stories coming in. And like I showed you, it's like they, they just write down on the, it's on the bottom down there. And then yeah. I get a photo. And, okay. And I have a lady named if you know and uh, Annette Burroughs, if you probably heard her, she's from um the um, she works in the employment section. She's from um she's the chair of the um, Support Employment Canada case. Oh, okay. And she, so she's helps me with that kind of stuff. And we oh. have a, a self advocate helps with her to edit stuff. But they don't know how, if they don't know how to edit. We could okay. help them, and then they just respond back emails back and forth, just saying, okay. just to clarify yeah. things or because we what we don't want is, um, we as uh, some send negative uh, nasty stuff to an organization and yeah. we have sponsors, right? So we don't mm -hmm. kind of. <laughs> red tail things right. but but, it, yeah. but we kind of says if you have something like really having struggles with just change it around just so it that more or less um what we can help them with and then, and then yeah. people could see more or less not you know attack right it's more or yeah. less it's try to get like positive stories yeah. so that this is what's working for them it's basically also the site that teaches agencies families even community itself, these people don't just write a story and just say no. different things without real. But they, these are legitimate people. These 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 people are struggling. Some of them are having some success with because we did COVID over the time, right? Yeah. So we're okay. trying to identify these people. They're still here. We're trying to get them to help more, and so we're we're looking for different ways to, you know change it up once in a while some some good stuff some maybe some negative stuff maybe in a way that it's that where they need help in and then then the other one is just some we're looking for like some fun stuff too yeah. they, what do they what do they do in their time when something fun too so yeah takes the you know the the pressure off the when they come and look at it they get scared so we don't want that so yeah. hey Bryce, I just <laughs> wanted to point out you're more relaxed now. You got to know us. Yes. Yeah, because I could I tell you were too. nervous when you were doing your presentation. Excuse so me I saw the difference <laughs> right away. Uh, excuse me for <laughs> my Asperger's. <laughs> but that's just sometimes it, it's challenging because yeah. a lot of things because when environment changes around you. Yeah, of course. You're you're a little nervous because you don't. Yeah. Know. You but you, I know this right away. I'm very good at reading people's body language. Yeah. That's yeah, also he, a gift of being yeah. hard to hear. Me and my founder, me and my other partner, it's Cam Dory, used to run Home yep. Society, created the website. So way back now, it seems like 22 years ago. Wow. We had different, but we had different versions, and we started out in Abbotsford, like a little Edenville, and small little portions. Now it's gotten bigger now, so it's so more sponsors, more help. Yeah. yeah that's thank awesome. you for helping so many people with yeah. this. This is awesome. That's that's mm -hmm. what the that's what the whole goal is. We we're trying to make it easy, plain language, easier accessible that they just click and they click yeah. the pictures and then they don't have to freak out, try to type up what the address is and what yeah. they're trying to look for. It's right you just click the picture, it goes right to their website sometimes. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's so, you're, you're doing such a good job. We really yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, it's me learning WordPress. <laughs> Going to background stuff during all the um the content stuff because I have yeah. I have my partner still with me. He does all the if there's any um, technical problems, so he's so he's he's good at that. He does Cedar Creek stuff. He's he's a like mm -hmm. a tech guy that has his own company, WordPress. Mm -hmm. He does. So we did um, Sally Ann Group too, and we did um, so they did their website too as well. So we so we kind of with them too. So it's kind of have six hats on going on. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like, <laughs> yeah. so well, we appreciate mm -hmm. so much all the yeah. work that you do for mm -hmm. any time. Yeah. yeah. It's just, it's so needed too. Mm -hmm. So, and we're always looking for sponsorship too. So, just yeah. to get their site going. And we always, yeah. we always, mm -hmm. whatever you guys want, we put it on too. It's kind of like both ways. So, we, so it helps because some of it, because that's them, um, you're paying. So what you would be paying is like keeping the site going. Yeah. If there's any like add-ons or new features or helping support the the story section, it would be 
um being just my hours of that's kind of, i don't come up with that first but it's more or less doing the inside the site what it needs to do so it gets more words out and because you're yeah. always more people are interested they want to right. see more things and yeah kinda, and like me me um thinking of things that we could do it's like i'm always thinking of people from when they're lost a lot of things uh, putting a site together like mm -hmm. where we can help fundraise this yeah and there too for that so that we get credit a little bit more stronger help our own peers out i can't help everybody but if we can help some of our peers with disabilities yeah. so, you know, mm -hmm. situations that they're in and i see a lot of fires going on and, and yeah. disasters lately mm -hmm. uh, uh, i could just imagine yeah so if they if they get it see then they'll want to be with us right see it's that's a whole it's a whole mission but it takes probably years on end to get all right you know, the vision the vision the concept the easy accessible for even even for blind people or even for no they can't hear so we're always trying to think of new ways but right. there's always cost right so they're to get get features built in right because there's they don't just don't give them free like free doesn't always yeah they should it should so. like anything that has to do with accessibility mm -hmm. should, mm -hmm. uh, you don't mm -hmm. have to pay to make yeah. your web more accessible yeah. so that and that's everybody... what they're striving for and yeah. user friendly <laughs> yeah because we want them to look at it not just go away but just yeah the inside yeah. of it look around because there's so many things going on it's like well, the way looks really like easy oh, like user yeah. friendly and uh yeah. it, to navigate and stuff yeah so. we have a facebook page too yeah we have a, um a twitter page too oh okay and then sometimes i link it in it. sometimes and then i those kind of things instagram a little bit i'm just learning that yeah <laughs> so it's, yeah so anyway it's nice meeting you guys and, uh, it was really yes yeah. Well, nice to meet you too, Sam. Oh, so yes, I, you guys. I will uh, look you up right now on yep. Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Okay. Thank you all. Yeah. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Hopefully, yeah. in the future. Yes, for sure. And Great. then get a hold of get a hold for of sure. get a hold of Self Advocate Leadership Network, uh, Michael. They they have a oh. website. It's salnbc. Uh, dot com, and okay. then and if you if you can't just get a hold, I can direct it to and that kind of stuff okay perfect and then they'll Same be in for sure <laughs> yeah no problem. Okay. Good. yeah have a nice day <laughs> thank you too bye bye